12 planets and three Angona tributaries. The Urantia book proclaims that our solar system originally evolved with 12 planets. So why is it that only eight planets are recognized by astronomers today? Let's investigate. We are told that in the early solar system there were five inner and five outer planets, while Jupiter and Saturn were the two central planets. Of the five inner planets, four are very well known to us. Mercury is closest to the Sun and the smallest of the inner planets. The second planet from the Sun is Venus, a sweltering atmospheric world. The third planet from the Sun, the beautiful ocean world full of life, our home, Earth, also known as Urantia. The fourth planet, Mars, the red planet. The Urantia book tells us that the fifth planet approached too close to Jupiter and was tidally disrupted, becoming the asteroid belt. The origin and formation of the asteroid belt is worthy of a video presentation of its own, so we will move on for now. The Urantia book states that Jupiter and Saturn are the central two planets. Next, let's explore the five outer planets. The first of the outer planets and one of two ice giants, Uranus. The second of the outer planets and the second of the ice giants is Neptune. The third outer planet is the small icy world Pluto, discovered in 1930 shortly before the publication of the Urantia book. The fourth outer planet, Eris, was not discovered until 2005, nicknamed Pluto's twin because it is nearly the same size and composition of Pluto. The discovery of Eris sent shockwaves through the field of astronomy, and it was designated as the tenth planet of our solar system. However, that designation was short-lived. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union redefined their definition of a planet and both Pluto and Eris were demoted to the status of dwarf planets. That decision is still controversial among astronomers to this day. The fifth outer planet is Triton, the moon of Neptune. Triton has a retrograde orbit around Neptune it orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Because retrograde orbits do not occur in a naturally forming system, coupled with the fact that Triton is similar in size and composition to Pluto and Eris, it is believed Triton formed in the Kuiper Belt and was later captured by Neptune. Here we have the 12 possible planets the Urantia book mentions. But there is more to this story. Paper 57, Section 5, explains how our solar system formation was affected by the passing Angona system. Three of the major planets were permanently detached from Angona. These three tributaries injected retrograde motion into our system. So where are these three major planets now? Due to its retrograde rotation, it has often been speculated that Venus is possibly one of the captured Angona planets. However, its similar size, density, mass, and composition to Earth and its location as the closest planet to Earth indicate that it likely formed in our inner solar system. It is more likely Venus was struck by an object, perhaps injected by Angona, that caused its retrograde motion. Uranus is another popular candidate for a captured Angona planet, and it fits the role. Uranus has a 97 degree axial tilt. It orbits the Sun on its side, while also rotating in retrograde. 
The leading theory for Uranus orbiting on its side and rotating backwards is a major collision about four billion years ago. Uranus and Neptune, being the only two known ice giants in our solar system, are twins in terms of size and composition. Is it possible that both Uranus and Neptune are captured planets from the Angona system? Astronomers have found that our solar system is very different from other systems. The Urantia book also confirms that our solar system had a very unique origin and less than 1% of systems originated like our system. Astronomers have discovered that other solar systems are more orderly than our own. The sizing of planets in other systems tends to be uniform. Each planet is often close in size to all planets in the system. Whereas in our system, the planets vary widely from terrestrial planets to gas giants to ice giants to small icy worlds. Ice giant sized planets are the most abundant size of planets we have discovered outside of our solar system. Another clue in the Urantia book is that the five inner and five outer planets formed in miniature. Astronomers have determined that it is implausible, if not impossible, that Uranus and Neptune formed in their current locations. Evidence also suggests that they could not have formed further out in the Kuiper Belt. There would not have been enough dust and gas in this region for large planets to have formed at these distances. Uranus's tilt and Neptune's capture of Triton might be explained if they were captured from Angona. Mathematical calculations and computer modeling based on observations of trans-Neptunian objects have indicated the possibility of a Neptune-sized planet deep in our solar system on a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto. One theory of this hypothetical planet's origin is that it was captured from another passing star system. However, Planet 9 has yet to be directly observed and therefore remains undiscovered. If Uranus, Neptune and Planet 9 are indeed the three Angona tributaries, what are the other two outer planets? Are they hiding in plain sight disguised as moons orbiting the known planets in our solar system? Or are they hiding in the Kuiper belt waiting to be discovered? We have only begun to scratch the surface of discovering what lies out in the outer regions of our solar system. What else remains out there to be discovered? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.